two generals killed in one day? It sounds incredible to be true, if is true it would probably be a unique case in recent military history. But that is exactly what happened to the incredibly incompetent Russian army in its sluggish invasion of Ukraine. Russian President Vladimir Putin lost two of his most senior commanders in a single day in a devastating bridge ambush in eastern Ukraine, a group of independent journalists working on both sides of the war have claimed. Russia confirmed the death of Major General Roman Kuchizov on Sunday, but new reports on Monday said Lt. Gen. Roman Burdnikov was killed on the same day in an attack carried out by Kiev's forces. It has been suggested that the unusual speed with which Kuchizov's death was confirmed by Moscow was an attempt to cover up the loss of Burdnikov. Less than a month ago, Burdnikov was commander of the Russian Armed Forces Task Force in Syria, and he was moved to take charge of Putin's forces and those of the Donetsk People's Republic and Donbas. If his death is confirmed he will be the 12th general to have been killed in the war. It would mean the two of the most senior Russian commanders in Donetsk were wiped out in one strike in a stunning and embarrassing setback to Putin. The claims that both Burdnikov and Kuchizov died came from the Volya Telegram channel which has independent war journalists working on both sides of the conflict. On the morning of June 5, Lt. Gen. Roman Burdnikov, who led the Russian troops and units of the DPR from Donetsk, left with the headquarters on a working trip, said the Post. On the way, presumably on a bridge, the vehicles of the headquarters were attacked by a Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance group. Part of the convoy was destroyed or immobilized but some vehicles, having received serious damage and firing back, were able to escape from the ambush and leave, the Post said. After that, our sources reported that Roman Burdnikov died in this battle, the report continued. A little later, two more sources confirmed this, specifying that other senior officers could have died during the battle. Later reports emerged that Burdnikov second in command Kuchizov had died. Valya stated that it trusted its sources that both generals were killed, Kuchizov by a bridge in Donetsk region, and not at the location in Luhansk region specified in early Russian reports. It is logical that they both rode in the same convoy and both were ambushed, said the report. Part of the convoy was able to escape. We assume that Burdnikov was in one of the surviving cars, but died during the shelling. Those who escaped from the fire could not know the fate of those who remained on the bridge. They reported the attack and death of Burdnikov to the headquarters and that part of the convoy remained cut off and was under fire. It quickly became clear that Major General Kuchizov was among those remaining on the bridge. And as soon as the Russian military arrived at the battlefield, his body was also found. The report stated, what Russian commanders had in their hands was two dead generals, one of whom led an entire army grouping in Syria until May, and then played an important role in commanding the entire grouping in eastern Ukraine. Bernikov, who previously served in Siberia, is seen on video less than a month ago taking the salute at the 9 May Victory Day parade at Russia's Mamam Air Base in Syria. Russia has been losing generals at an alarming rate, with unconfirmed reports suggesting Western intelligence, particularly that of the United States, has been helping Ukraine target Putin's most senior military figures in Ukraine. Losing even two generals in a war would be considered extreme in most conflicts since the Second World War. In addition, at least 49 colonels have been killed so far in the war with Ukraine. Reports of the death of the two generals came after Russia struck Kyiv with missiles for the first time in more than a month on Sunday. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.